Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Welcome to day 20 of the 40 days of sacred clearing for women over 40, making space for all things new. It's me, Allison Rozelle, also known as Coach Roz. My hair is just doing its own thing, so it kind of distracted me a bit, but we're going to move on. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, we took a bit of a break from the 40 days. Um, this is something that I felt it was necessary for me to do this. Um, I was just having a moment of where I just had too much that I was trying to do and it was starting to overwhelm me. So I was like, okay, I need to take a step back. And I took a step back, not just from this, but from some other things too. Because sometimes you have to do that for yourself because the whole thing of self-care, let me adjust my phone here. The whole thing of self-care is taking care of self and recognizing when it's time to take care of self. So um, what <laughs> inspired me to do this was, um, <coughs> excuse me, my beautiful coach um, and mentor, Abiola Abrams, hosts uh, Goddess Temple every Sunday at 10 a.m. In the Goddess Temple Sunday, hopefully my connection will last because it's already given me like a weird message here. Um, but during Goddess Temple, she pulled an affirmation card one of her affirmation cards that I do use myself, and I don't have the box handy, but they are the One Manifesting um, Fertility Goddess cards, and I love them. Um, they're very powerful, very powerful. So she pulled a card, and it happened to be the number that I had picked, and I'm gonna show you the card that she pulled. And I've been really just meditating on this card, and I'll show you why in just a minute. So this card here, and I'm so sorry I forgot how to pronounce this goddess's name, but I'm going to say Aquaba. Aquaba. It's A-K-W-A-B-A. -A -A. And she is from the Ashanti tribe. Um, and it's a conception card. And the, the word is retreat. Um, and it says, it is okay for me to retreat. I surrender the need to control. It is okay for me to retreat. I surrender the need to control. That was huge for me to hear that, to get that message. And so I wanted to share it because how many of you know that there are things that you need to surrender control of. You know, we spend so much time in our walks um, trying to control everything, you know, and I've said this before, we are the co-creators and we co-create with the creator. So therefore the creator gives us a little bit of control things that we can actually control like you can control your attitude <laughs> you can control your attitude you can control your faith you can control how you treat people you can control um whether you choose to you know follow rules or not follow rules those are things you know without thinking without blinking we can have control over that right but then there are those other things in this world that we have no control over, like living. <laughs> we honestly have no control of that because we're not promised one moment to the next. So that's why we have to be mindful and live in this moment. And we live moment to moment and enjoy the moment that you're in, right? So... This was just really powerful to me to hear the word retreat. And oftentimes for someone like myself, the 
personality that I have when I hear retreat it's like I'm saying quit even though that's not what it means but to someone like myself and anybody else that's the overachiever <laughs> retreat it means I'm quitting and it's so ridiculous because no that's not what it means at, at all because when you think about an army going into war right and they are fighting with the other side i know we're peaceful people we don't want to think about war but this is just the best analogy i can come up with right now okay so the armies are fighting and then, like, if you ever watched any of those old movies, like I used to watch old movies, like with my dad, especially Westerns, then somebody would holler, retreat, retreat. And you would think that that meant that they were giving up. But actually, no. They were going to regather themselves, get themselves together, and then come back and finish fighting the war. So when I think about it that way, I'm like, Yes, I'm not giving up. I'm just taking a moment to step back so that I can gather myself and then come back stronger and come back better. And that's why you want to use that, um, that ability to retreat sometimes. We put so much pressure on ourselves and we want to get it just right and we want to do everything just right for everybody and and we're doing all these things and we have like a million and one projects because you know as women that's what we do we're like multitasking you know everything because we can have a baby in one arm with the bottle in the mouth we can be driving our car we could be you know you know don't drive with the baby in your arms but i'm just saying we are constantly doing because i can remember when my son was little he'd be riding in the car with me he'd be in the back seat in his car seat and i'm driving he wants his bottle i'm reaching for his bottle i know exactly where it is hand it to him i'm driving I'm, you know, doing all these things. We get to our destination. I got the stroller. I got the diaper bag. I got my purse. I have keys to the car. I have my grocery list or whatever. And I'm doing all these things, entertaining him and everything else. And it becomes a pattern where we are doing all these different things at one time. And not even just when you're a mother, just a woman, period. We just do that. I don't know. I think it's just our thing. <laughs> But sometimes it's to our detriment that we do that. We take on so much stuff and we don't think, okay, I need to take a step back, right? So therefore, what I'm telling you is, it doesn't hurt for you to take a step back and retreat. Let's go a little further because the great thing about these affirmation cards is you get a nice handy dandy book. And so what I did being the spiritual woman that I am, I looked at this card, the beautiful card, beautiful goddess on there, and I opened up my guide because I wanted to really sit in this because I'm like, okay, if this is something that I'm being told, and I really felt like I was being told to do this because it had been coming to me and I kept having this inner, like, argument with myself, like, I, I don't want to stop and give up. I, I started this, and, and I feel like I'm quitting, and and why would I be quitting? And, and I'm doing all this stuff inside my head, which is basically causing more harm than good, right? So when she pulls this card, I'm like, yeah, yeah, confirmation. Whoop, there it is. <laughs> I'm supposed to retreat. I got to take a step back because I'm no good to you all, to my tribe, right? I'm no good to anybody if I can't get myself together, if I'm not right, if my soul is not cared for, if I'm not caring for myself and taking care of myself then I'm not going to be able to put out the right message, the right energy, and anything else that will be helpful to you, right? 
So here are some of the things about um, this particular card, okay? So like I said, it is a conception card. Um, so here are the questions that I, I set, and I journaled on these questions, and I added some of my own things um, to it. So it says, what have you been forcing in your life? Well, at that moment, I was forcing myself to do the 40 days along with doing my other projects that I was doing as a realtor, along with sitting and trying to create other things for um, the Starting Over tribe and doing things with my family and doing things for, you know, other things that I'm trying to do for myself. So I'm doing all this and all the things are getting muddled in my mind, right? So that's what I've been forcing. I've been forcing myself to create things that aren't there, that aren't ready to be manifested just yet. I'm trying to force things to manifest. We forced some things instead of surrendering control and letting things happen in divine timing. You know, people say, let it happen naturally. Natural is a very divine thing, right? Nature is divine. So divine timing is something that we should all strive to, re to receive and do things in divine timing instead of forcing it. So I wanna ask you that. What have you been forcing in your life? Have you been forcing yourself to do things as a people pleaser because you want to make sure you keep everybody happy. You want to make sure that you're not disappointing anybody because you're the good girl. You know, you promised your parents, you promised your siblings, you promised, you know, God, you promised whomever, promised your husband. And so you're forcing yourself to do things that don't feel natural, that don't feel divine, that don't feel blissful, you feel basically stuck doing something repetitively that you're forcing. And whatever it is, it's not happening in the way that you thought that it would. Why? Because you're forcing it. You're trying to make it. You're, you, what is that? You're, um, trying to push a square peg into a circle or something like that. So yeah, you're forced. How can you take a step back to move forward? Well, my take a step back was to take a step back from the 40 days so I can come back to you better, right? I took a step back from some of the projects I was taking on as a realtor that I was trying to get done as far as like certifications and things like that. I decided that um, I was gonna just take a step back from it. And I'm like, it'll happen when it's supposed to. I'm not gonna sit and try to force this. I'm not. The next thing is, when is the last time you took a mental or emotional time out? How? appropriate is that to ask because for us overachiever women where we want to make sure we have all of our ducks in a row we want to make sure that everything is exactly right we want to you know make sure that when people say that we can't do it we're going to show them that we can do it and we're going to do it with gusto and we're going to stick up our middle fingers and say, we did it. And that's me. That's me. I'm one of those women. I'm like, ooh, please tell me I can't do something so I can show you that I can. Meanwhile, it's not good for my spirit. It's not good for my emotional health. It's not good for my body. It all manifests itself in all three of those arenas. So sometimes in your overachieving self you got to take a time out put yourself in time out it's okay doesn't mean you did anything wrong doesn't mean that you're bad 
It doesn't mean any of that. Sometimes you do just have to take a step back and be like, you know what? In order for me to get this and in order for this to be right for me and sit right with me and be in alignment with me and what I'm doing and, and, and what I'm trying to get done, what I am getting done and everything else, I need to take a time out because I'm starting to... I'm starting to emotionally break down and we can feel ourselves when we're emotionally about to break down we can feel that a lot of us keep pushing on though and that's where you get into the danger zone because now you're really trying to force things and you're swallowing your emotions your throat feels like a big knot is in it because you're like okay I'm in it to win and I'm gonna do this and I gotta get this right and if I don't get this right, all this stuff, and I just got a call, I need to put my phone on Do Not Disturb when I'm doing this. Um, but I'm a loser, and, and I'm trying to, you know, get all this done and do all these things. And I, you know... Um, why can't I, Why can't it happen? Why is it not happening? Well, because you're trying to force it. Because you're not taking time out for yourself. So lastly, how can you build regular breaks into your day? Well, what you can do is, instead of when you're at work, instead of going to the break room and sitting down, how about you go and you take a walk, whether it's a walk outside, preferably. If you can't walk outside, walk around your building, like the floor that you're on, if you if it's possible for you to do that. Take a walk during your break. Um, add meditation to either your morning or your evening or both. I have started adding a prayer ritual at night that I've been following. Um, for the past few days and it's really been helping me I've been sleeping better um, I feel more at peace and a lot more clear so you know you can find those rituals and we'll talk about some things that you can do um, that can help you with that okay but I want you to think about how you can build regular breaks into your day how can you take a little time for you during your day it doesn't even have to be long you could take five minutes to just get somewhere quiet and breathe breathing is is <laughs> is life <laughs> basically get somewhere for five minutes and just breathe you know if during your break if you're able to like go sit in your car for five minutes don't turn the radio on just sit there and breathe. That does a world of good for your body, mind, and spirit. Breath. Taking time to breathe. Taking time to feel your body. Breathe. And feel flowing with your natural breath. And let your body and your mind and your spirit come together as one and do that sacred thing just breathe gather yourself that's what you can do for yourself right so what how better what better sacred clearing than to just take time to breathe so that's what i want to say to you today is i want you to take time to breathe i want you to take time to take a step back if you gotta take a step back take a step back and I do apologize when I got that call that knocked my phone light off. But yeah, take a step back on things. If, if things are going too quickly for you, it's too much, then, you know, just be like, you know what? I'm not a quitter and I'm not quitting, but I'm not going to continue down this road for my benefit. I'm going to take a step back. I'm going to retreat. Yes, I'm going to retreat so that I can surrender control over things that I know I have no control over anyway. It's foolish of us to think that we control everything in our lives. We don't control that much. <laughs> like I said, it's just like a little bitty window of stuff. 
that we actually control. So that is my challenge to you. That is what I'm saying to you, is I want you to take time to retreat. Take time to surrender. You can't do it all. You can't do it all. I'm, I've learned this and, and you can't. I can't. I know we like to think of ourselves as superwoman, wonder woman and all that kind of stuff, but the truth of the matter is we are human. We are human beings. So take those human moments. Stop forcing. Stop forcing it. Take a step back. Take a mental and emotional time out for yourself and find a way to put regular breaks in your day so you don't feel overwhelmed. Okay? So that's all I got. Thank you so much for joining me. If you are not a part of my Facebook group, then I encourage you to click the link that's up in the comments. And if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, then you can also click the link. The link will be right there in the description box on SoundCloud and the description box on YouTube as well. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for um, listening. <laughs> and just remember, we are to retreat sometimes. It's okay. I promise you it is. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. I love you, and there is absolutely nothing you can do about that. Have a good night.